think you're ready to kill the next level of monster. You've checked its guard power, and it's well below your battle power. Should be an easy fight, right? And yet, when you try to slay that monster, you end up with the dreaded defeat message instead of a victory. Well, what the f*** <coughs> happened there? This is an excellent question. What it comes down to is that battle power is only one aspect of what determines your victory. We're going to take a look at a few other contributing factors that can make or break your monster attack, namely your troop setup, your combat stats, and the game's turn-based combat style to help answer this question. Now, if you're not familiar with the basics of troop setup already, I recommend that you hit pause on this video and pop over to watch my army composition video before we continue, otherwise some of what I say may not make a whole lot of sense. Okay, you ready now? Let's dive into how to set up your troops for a monster attack. So remember how I mentioned in my army composition video that your troops will automatically divide themselves into eight groups during battle if you send both even and odd tier troops. You'll have even and odd tiered infantry and cavalry making up the first four groups in your front row with even and odd tiered archers and mages making up the other four groups in your back row. And yes, I'm aware that if you send your beast and any angels, then you'll actually end up with 10 groups on the battlefield, but let's keep it simple here, folks. Anyway, to determine how many of which troop types you send to defeat the monster, you'll first need to carefully watch the battle replay from your defeat. What you're going to be looking for here is how many attacks it takes the monster to kill your highest tiered infantry so that you can set a bare minimum number of those troops that you're going to send out. You can see here that the monster kills off 3.8 thousand of my T8 infantry with each round. You're going to want to figure out how many of those T8 infantry to send to give my back row time to do the damage it needs to defeat that monster. Now, bear with me while we do a little math to figure out the right troop setup. So, let's say hypothetically that I need my front row troops to last for 10 rounds total to defeat the monster. I get one round for each of my single T7 infantry and single even and odd tiered cavalry I'm going to send, leaving 7 rounds for my T8 infantry to handle. If I'm losing 3.8 thousand of them each time, then I'll need to send 26.6 thousand of those T8 infantry, which for me is about 25% of my total marching army. Then, I can fill the rest of my formation with mages and archers to do the most damage possible. And if I include one angel in the march as well, I could further adjust my T8 infantry down to 22.8 thousand, making room for even more mages and archers, since the angel is going to absorb one of those front row attacks that my T8 infantry would normally have to take. Now, let's see this new setup in action. As you see, the monster first takes out my T7 infantry and my even and odd tiered cavalry before moving on to my T8 infantry. Once those are gone, he takes out my angel, then deals three more hits to my back row before being beaten. If I add another 17.4 thousand infantry to my setup, then I would be able to withstand all of the monster's attacks simply with my front row. It will probably take you a few tries to get the formation right. Just keep adjusting your numbers, sending out an attack, and studying the replay to see what works. A good rule of thumb to help you get started is to aim for your highest tiered infantry to make up between 25 and 35% of your total marching army, then work from there to fine tune it. Now, you can improve on this and possibly even take out monsters whose guard power exceeds your battle power through the use of research, equipable items, and combat buff items. Go through and check your Lord Equipment, Achievement Badges, Artifacts, Colossus, and Passive Beast skills to make sure they're set up to give you the biggest boost. You'll want to look for items that increase your combat stats, which would be Attack, Defense, and HP. Also, anything that will give you a larger marching army will always help, as will monster attack speed. This boost will allow your troops to attack the monster faster, dealing more damage to it between its attacks. So, just keep playing around with your setup, review your battle replays, and fine-tune your strategy. You'll be taking out higher level monsters in no time. Bam!